Hi, my name is Carolyn and I'm a librarian here at Saddleback. In this video, you will learn how to use the library catalog to find articles at the Saddleback College Library. You can search for articles from the library website at saddleback.edu slash library. You will see a search box at the center of the page. To do a keyword search, enter your search terms in the box. Today I'm looking for articles about the Ebola virus, so I'll type that in the search box. Our catalog is set to search Saddleback College by default. This will let us search three primary article databases, Academic OneFile, ProQuest, and EBSCO's Academic Search Complete, as well as the print periodicals in the library. You will also be searching for books, music, and films within our library using your keywords. Once you are in the catalog and looking at the search results, you can change it to search both IBC and Saddleback or libraries worldwide but today I'm looking for articles I can access here at Saddleback, so I'm just going to keep it set to Saddleback College. Also, notice the different types of sources the catalog has found with our keyword search. To limit your results to just articles, click on Article. You'll see a list of articles that match your search. The title is in red, with the authors listed to the right. You can also see what publication the article appears in, as well as the issue number and date. Scrolling down the left side of the screen, you'll see that we searched in all databases. WorldCat.org includes the library catalog. The others listed are three primary databases, Academic OneFile, ProQuest, and EBSCO's Academic Search Complete. Click on any of them to see results from that specific database. Keep in mind, not all databases provide full text of articles. Some just give an abstract, which is a summary of the article and publication information. So click Full Text to limit your results to just the articles you can read fully online. Our search found over 8,000 full text articles, and over 3,000 of them are peer reviewed. Use the check boxes to limit your results to just those scholarly articles. You can tell these articles are peer reviewed by the icon here. You can also unselect any of the filters we have used so far, Full Text, Peer Reviewed, or Article, by clicking on the X next to the specific filter in the gray box on the top of the page. Further down, you'll see additional ways to limit your search. Author, year, or language. You might just want to see articles published in the last five years, and if that's the case, you can easily narrow your search list down to those articles by clicking the last five years button. Or you can enter in your own date range if you're looking for a specific time period. I want to see the most currently published articles in 2016 so I will enter that date range here. To view an article, simply click the Access Online button. This will take you out of the catalog into the database that will give you access to your article. Look for the PDF icon or a full text link to get access to your article. For more options, click on the title of the article. Many articles are available in multiple databases, so you'll get a link for each database that has access to the article. Each link takes you straight to the full text. The text is the same no matter which you choose, but the layout may differ slightly. If you're off campus, you'll first be asked to log in with your Blackboard login before you can view the article. To email this page to yourself, click on the pull-down menu on the right and then Email Record to enter your email address. The email includes the title of the article, some publication information, and the permanent link to this page in the catalog. You can also save the record if you want to continue looking for more articles. Once you save a record, you will see the number of saved records in your My List. This list will not be saved next time you enter the catalog once you are done. If you choose to use this article for your research, you will need to cite it as an online source since you are accessing the full text through an online database. Click on the pull-down menu and choose Cite Record. Choose your citation format and now you can copy and paste the formatted citation for that article. Remember, when using any citation tool, it is always best to check the style guidelines for correct formatting. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions or need more help, visit us at the reference desk, call us, or chat with us online.